Wondering how to live in an Airbnb? It's easier than you might think. Our family of seven has been living in Airbnbs for most of 2021, and here's what we've learned so far. First, choose the right Airbnb. If you haven't already, be sure to watch our video titled, How to Find the Perfect Airbnb. This video contains eight steps that will help you make sure that you find the perfect place to call home. Second, pack light. One of the benefits of living in an Airbnb is that you're stepping into a fully furnished, fully set up living space. You don't need to bring your own belongings because Airbnb should have everything you need. Limit your luggage. Ideally, you should never bring more than two pieces of luggage per person to the Airbnb, even if you plan to live there long term. This makes it easy to pack up and go when the time comes and it reduces the clutter in the unit. A capsule wardrobe that can be mixed and matched is very helpful. Generally, I limit my family members to one formal outfit, three to four daily outfits, sportswear, and a jacket when we're traveling or living in Airbnbs. They can mix and match within what they have, but that way we limit the amount of space that their clothes take up. Because I have children, I also limit the toys that they can bring with them. Each of my children has a small backpack that they use to carry their schoolwork, their toys, and their other belongings. I usually limit the toys to no larger than a gallon Ziploc bag, and that bag must be stored in their backpack when the toys are not in use. I also make sure to keep everyone's important documents organized and with us at all times. This includes birth certificates, passports, social security cards, and other essential documents that may be needed in an emergency. These are not things you can afford to misplace or put into storage because you never know when you're going to need them. Third, don't move stuff in and be careful with what you acquire while you're staying there. When you're living in an Airbnb, you should avoid moving in a bunch of other stuff. Since we're hoping to settle back into a long-term home soon, we have a small storage unit with our prized possessions. These include our family yearbooks, our expensive electronics, and other important belongings. However, these items do not leave storage unless we are staying for multiple months in a single Airbnb. In most cases, you will want to avoid bringing your belongings into the Airbnb. Moving in furniture, for example, can create damage to the home that you may be liable for. Small items can easily be lost and left behind. It's just generally better to avoid moving a lot of things into the Airbnb while you're staying there, even if you're staying for a long time. But even if you don't bring much with you, it's natural to go buy things and acquire things as you're staying there. Always be mindful of what you're purchasing as you go so that you don't end up acquiring a bunch of belongings that you have to take with you when you go. Overall, Living in an Airbnb is much easier if you embrace the minimalist lifestyle. Focus on experiences over possessions, and you'll find that living in an Airbnb is much easier. Fourth, take care of your mail. Everybody receives mail. If you're living in an Airbnb long-term, you can usually have items delivered to the address without any problems. But what about your regular mail? If you're staying in the United States and you'll be spending several months in one area, it's generally easiest to get a P.O. box or a mailbox at another provider like the UPS store. This gives you a central location to send your mail to. Alternatively, some people who choose to live in Airbnbs just send their mail to a relative's address. Whatever you do, it's important to plan ahead for how to handle your mail. Fifth, unpack. If you're living in an Airbnb for more than a few days, you'll save time and a lot of hassle if you unpack once instead of rummaging through your luggage every single day. Unpacking also helps you feel more relaxed and at home in the space. Sixth, live like a local. One of the real joys of Airbnb is that you have the opportunity to live like a local instead of a tourist. Get to know your new area. Find the local parks, the best restaurants, and the quirks that make your new Airbnb neighborhood truly unique. Unlike hotels and resorts that optimize for the flashy and often expensive tourist experience, Airbnb guests have the opportunity to have the authentic experience of living in that area. Make the most of it. However, when you're living in an Airbnb full-time, 
it's also important to kind of skip that vacation mindset. If you get stuck in a vacation mindset, you'll end up wasting a lot of money. Plan to cook some meals at home. Make sure that you have consistent routines for work and exercise. Remember that when you're living in an Airbnb, it's not a vacation, it's your normal life. Seventh, prepare in advance for your departure. Although you can live in an Airbnb for a long time, it's not your home. Eventually, you will have to leave. I found that departing from Airbnbs is more complicated than moving out of a normal rental. Although you don't have to pack up and move all the furniture, you have to be careful not to leave any of your belongings in someone else's space. It's easy to lose things in drawers or behind cabinets. Keeping a checklist of what you've brought into the Airbnb can help you prevent losses. You don't have to worry about a deep cleaning, that's what the cleaning fee is for, but you do need to make sure that you get all of your things out of the Airbnb at the end of your stay. You also need to make sure that you document any damage and wash any dirty dishes. Always ask your host in advance about their checkout protocol, as some will want you to start a load of laundry or take out the trash as well. Subscribe to our channel for more tips on how to live in an Airbnb.